it has been a long day, but we are about to pull up to an amazing campsite that I can't wait to share with you guys. <sighs> Just in time for sunset. We just pulled in to another free campsite and there's actually a little kiosk here so we're going to check that out and then we're going to be heading down this little road over here that is a dirt road it's not that bad though it hasn't rained here the road seems pretty decent and uh the reviews for this place are awesome Whew. we're gonna have to do something about this face maybe tomorrow we have been getting sun and the freckles are popping this is where we are at right in this region and this is the San Luis Valley South region, which is right next to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. And it looks like somebody has left a couple of cute little birds here. Now I'm not gonna pick those up because they might be here for a purpose, but oh, how cute. You know, that could be a geocache or something. And I haven't pulled up my geocache map while here in Colorado. So we're not gonna mess with it, but we are about to take down this road a little bit and see if we can't find a really good site to call it a night because I am tired. We've done a lot of driving today and it's been long and crazy. Now I'm sure you can see that there are a lot of pull-offs out here, but it's getting a little bit more bumpy as we go down. So I'm trying to find a place where I won't be right on top of somebody else. And looks like there's a lot of options, but at the same time, finding one that's perfect, that's the hard part. definitely say get here earlier rather than later if you're wanting to snag one of these because it has been a very busy camping season. My original goal was to stay somewhere else and that didn't work out. So we're just crossing our fingers now that we can get to this one. Okay, we found home for the night and it's a beautiful place. Now I will say this, the road was getting a little bumpy. I was really starting to get concerned that we weren't going to find something and then we'd have to turn around and go closer to the roadway, which I didn't really want to do. It is pretty crowded out here. So our neighbor is like right there and then we have another neighbor, but this is a designated site. It does have a fire ring and not much else. Now I did find this particular campsite at freecampsites.net and I noticed that whenever I was looking at it, there were 34 reviews and it had some really nice ones. Now, a lot of the different campsites vary. So like this is what the road was starting to look like as we started to get closer and closer to the end there. It got more and more bumpy and that was the concerning part. But then you have these wide open spaces kind of like this where as you can see, just a regular view of the mountains with a little fire ring and that looks just about like what we have today here. Okay guys we have a snafu going on here and I'm not sure what's going on exactly but whenever you use the Jackery you turn on whichever side that you need and typically I use this side for my refrigerator but it's not turning on so if I take this out it'll turn on but as soon as I plug something in it turns off that is not good so let's try this again turns on plugging this in turns off um yeah i think we'll be emailing jackery tomorrow okay so i went ahead and emailed them and i've never seen this issue happen before so i have no idea what's going on but they're really good about customer service from everything i've seen so crossing our fingers that the one side holds out until we hear from them because that is literally powering my fridge and keeping me where I can have cold food and otherwise everything's gonna spoil and that would be really bad. 
Um, tonight, I'm just going to be super simple with it because that set us back just a little bit trying to figure it out. So we're actually going to be just having one of these. I haven't eaten this brand before, so I'm trying it out. This is the Backpacking Pantry Jamaican Style Jerk Rice and Beans with Chicken. So I'll tell you how that is in just a minute. And we're just boiling some water using our little electric kettle real quick. <sighs> Please, please, please work. So this is what it looks like before, and then we'll add the boiling water, and then it sits for 15 to 20 minutes. So this should be super yummy. The spices in it smell really good, so that's good. And also while we're waiting on that, I bought these little clips. So I'm gonna see if I can't clip up my curtain instead of using the magnets. And I wanted to try to do this to see if this would work so I could reclaim a little bit of the space that I lose with the curtain up here. I think that campgrounds are a great place for you to try new things. So we're gonna try this. In goes the water. Ooh. I always like to shuffle these around a little bit whenever I'm making them. Okay, so I thought that I would give you a little update and a rundown of all the things that have happened since uh, I made my little meal. It has been super quiet here at the camp even though every so often I can hear somebody driving by looking for a site and someone did pull up on this side also, no noise. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who is probably making noise in their camp because I can't hear anybody, which is awesome. Also, do you see what I see? I have two green lights now. I am not sure why. I have no idea what's going on, but Something told me before I go to bed to check it again, and it was working. So I have emailed Jackery, and I will let you guys know what the progress is, but really, really strange. Like, super strange. Again, not typical of Jackery products to have weird glitches. So kind of trying to figure out what happened, but for the time being, it's working. And you might notice that I did, in fact, get the clamps all hung up and they are looking really nice. I do still have to use magnets to secure the sides and I'm working on trying to figure that out, but I wanted to put the clamps up to regain some of that space, but also if I decide that I need to lay on this end of the bed for leveling purposes, I didn't want to get hit in the head by one of these guys. I'm always trying to come up with solutions for safety purposes and I don't want to lay with my head at an angle going down because then you get that blood rush and that's not good for you. But laying on that end has always been a little sketchy for me because what if I pull down on my curtain by accident and get popped in the head and then get knocked unconscious? Then I'm out here by myself and I don't want to do that. So you guys constantly are asking me about safety and security and things like that. And I know typically that we think of like, oh, the car safety kit and like weapons, but in reality, we need to be safe from ourselves as well. So that's just kind of a funny little thing, but very helpful. And then last but not least, I wanted to update you on the backpacker pantry. Not my favorite. I will be giving them another shot, but because it was rice, I needed to add some more water to it. I added the amount that it told me to, and I should have known better because whenever I've eaten other meals kind of like that, Rice always is a little tricky and you need to add more, but I didn't, so that's my fault. And uh, yeah, I have another one that we'll be trying later on. So I'm gonna wrap up my night, finishing up some editing, and then in the morning, I'll show you a little bit more of this campsite. Good morning, adventurers. I'm just getting my day started here and doing all of my routine to get me ready for the day. I have several different things that I use daily and then some of the things that I only use like obviously for my shower and stuff but using my little table now I'm currently about halfway through my morning routine but just wanted to let you guys know I slept so good here last night it was super quiet and sleeping with my head in that direction was definitely a smart call 
I just basically sank into my bed and went to sleep. But I will say this, you'll notice I went to bed with a short sleeve shirt. I woke up, I had to put on some sleeves. It does get really chilly here at night. So I ended up, instead of using my top blanket, getting under my big blanket last night and then also putting this on because it was kind of chilly. Now, as a result, I did end up with a little condensation also, just a little bit, but I already wiped everything down using one of these Norwix towels and everything is good to go. I do recommend definitely picking up some of these or some other microfiber kind of towels because they are very handy if you don't have insulation. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up my morning routine and I'll be right back. So typically in the morning, whenever I'm getting ready around camp, I do all of my skincare, I brush my teeth. If I decide to have coffee or breakfast, I make that, today we're not. And then I put on makeup on some days, not all days, but some days. Today we are just because we're a little sunburn and I'm putting a little bit of extra SPF on as well. So this mirror right here that I do my makeup in, I just picked this up in the baby section. You can get it for about 10 bucks. I'm gonna also link it in the description below. Um, super helpful. It just hangs out on my headrest when I'm not using it, so it is out of the way. And uh, yeah, it's a little beat up from the road because I keep my little headlamp on. On it but all in all super super good investment This isn't one of those places that you're going to want to go fast. Trust me, it's it's kind of rough and going about 10 miles an hour, I was still bumping all over the road. Now, my site that I selected was about 0.9 miles from the main road and it took me about 15 minutes to get to it last night because of the road conditions. It is pretty washboarded. If it has rained, I can only imagine that's much worse. But whenever I got there, it was smooth sailing and everyone was really respectful, not kicking up a lot of dust. Super, super nice. Now that we have made it back to the entrance point, I wanted to go ahead and bid you guys a farewell. I'm about to head out for the day's adventures and that will be on my next episode. So you're gonna have to tune in and find out where we go, what we do, and how cool the adventure is. I hope you have enjoyed coming and checking out this free campground with me and seeing a little bit of my daily routine here at the campsite while living in dimples on the road. I have had such a good time sharing this with you and I will be dropping the GPS coordinates for this campsite in the description box below just in case you're interested. Again, check out freecampsites.net which is where I found this and one last view of that mountain. Wow, yes, this is life. Till next time guys, bye.